and I actually mean the real meaning of literally here. Um, oh, it just started snowing outside my window. It's kind of nice. Hey guys, welcome to day seven of Nibai. We're finishing up week one where we've been talking all about self-care. This week we've talked about things like sleep, exercise, fueling your body in the right way, meditation, and prioritizing self-care. To me, those are the fundamentals of self-care. You need to be well fed, you need to be well rested, and you need to have quiet mental time in one way or another. To me, those, in my opinion, are not arguable as sort of the like cornerstones of self-care. And so that's why I talked about each one of those specifically. But today, our goal is to have you form a daily plan of self-care, a daily self-care routine. So in order to do that, you're gonna also need to think about things outside of what I've talked about on here that you require for your personal self-care because it is a little bit different for everyone. I know I mentioned in my exercise video that I require being outside a little bit each day, so I write that into my plan because that's something that I know I need. I also require alone time. I require to be alone, completely alone, at some point each day, even if it's just for a minute. So those are things that I write into my daily plan, but it's gonna be different for you. So I would reflect on besides those basic things, those basic needs that we've talked about, beyond that, what do you need for proper self-care? Kind of look at the things, what are your needs? What do you know as a person you need? And you're gonna to need to make a list of those things that you know that you personally require outside of the things that we've talked about. And then we're gonna write a daily routine. A few words about routine. I know for me, for the longest time, what I thought that I needed was more freedom and more downtime because I was overstressed and I just felt really constricted and too busy and too tied down and I just, I was like, if I could be more free, if I could have more free time and if I could relax more and have more downtime, that would be the key. And actually, that was the opposite of the key. For me, I think that I want free time and downtime and I do. Those things, those are good, but... What I really need is structure and routine and productivity. And when that's in its place, then I really enjoy my downtime. My relaxation is a true self-care instead of laziness or avoiding my life or hiding from my problems or shutting down because that's really what those things were for me before. And so as much as I fight my daily routine, I know that I need it. Because I need those boundaries and I need that structure and I need that routine. I need it even though every single day I think that I don't want it. And I think that, oh, I would be better off without that. I know for me, for my life to function, I need that routine and I need that schedule. The other thing that's beautiful about having a daily routine is it teaches you to do things no matter how you feel. So if you struggle with things like depression and anxiety or being overstressed and you tend to shut down and have really hard days where you don't do anything or you can't be productive or you like physically feel unable to do it. I know, I know. But if you have this daily routine in place, you'll just teach yourself to do it anyways. You'll learn to do it anyways. So your life will keep moving forward whether you feel like moving it forward or not. So relying on that daily routine when you've just taught yourself that this is what I do, you just learn to do it regardless of how you're feeling or what else is going on in your life you'll do it anyways. Last reason it's really important to have a daily routine about your self-care is what I keep just hammering, hammering, hammering into you, that it makes it a priority. It teaches you to make time for self-care. It teaches you to put self-care above other things. It teaches you to take care of yourself every single day, no matter what your schedule's like, no matter what the day brings, you will have your self-care measures in place so that you're prepared to take it on. You're prepared to serve other people. You're prepared for whatever life throws at you because you have this baseline of self-care routine that you just do. So you're always taken care of. You're always taken care of and prepared. If you struggle to make self-care a priority, a routine is exactly what you need because no matter what else is happening, you've got your self-care routine and you do it anyways. So I would literally, literally take out a piece of paper and a pen at this point and write your self-care regimen. What is your daily self-care routine going to be like? And there are certain things that you do for self-care that aren't a daily activity, and so you could write those things in once a week, but until it becomes second nature, you might need to literally write out a schedule. So my daily self-care routine is not going to look like what yours looks like, because we all need different things, we have different lives and different schedules, but I want you to make sure it includes feeding yourself, getting enough sleep, some sort of physical activity on a regular basis, maybe not daily, some form, of med some form of meditation, whatever you've decided that you want that to look like for you, 
and then everything else on your list that you've put in that you know that you need on a daily basis. So, so like I said, my plan's not going to be your plan, but you need to make a plan. And so whatever it looks like for you, today is the day to take everything we've talked about so far and your list of additional items that you need personally and write a schedule. Write a schedule that you can stick to every single day and maybe start small because you're going to make time for what you think is a priority. Whatever time allotment is realistic for you and whatever allows you to fulfill these needs, that's how you're going to write your schedule. You're going to fit things in where you need them. You're going to write it so you can make it work in your life and you're going to stick to it every single day. And this is how you incorporate true self-care into a busy life on a daily basis. This is how you do it, by routine and writing out a schedule. So that's what we're going to do today. Get out your paper and pen and write out that schedule. Um, write up, write when you're going to wake up, write when you're going to go to bed, write when you're going to do those daily reflections, both the positive and the improvement. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go check the meditation video from a few days back. Write when you're going to get your physical activity in, write when you're going to get your um, food prep and your meal times in um, to make sure that you're feeding yourself like you should be. Um, write down all those things. For, and I'm not talking right your whole schedule of I'm working at this time and I'm doing this. We'll get there. But right now we're just focusing on a, a self-care daily routine. So we're just talking about including those things on our list into a self-care daily routine. That's what we're working on right now. So get out your paper and pen and get to work. We've got 23 more days to go on this journey. So make sure you're subscribed to my channel so you don't miss a beat. And I'll see you tomorrow.